Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it is another beautiful day out here. Uh, I'm kind of in a hurry, so that's kind of why I'm kind of rushing this stuff. As always, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Monster Bass, uh, Six Gill Fishing, uh, Wu Tungsten, uh, Aqua Flag, uh, as far as all of my fishing stuff go. Uh, I guess I can give a special shout out to Do It Molds. Uh, for a while I've been doing some of my own uh, soft plastic baits and I've been using the do it molds molding system and plastic and all of that stuff so go want to give a shout out to them uh, today we're, we're gonna do a monster bass box I apologize this is coming late this is my August monster bass but I had a lot of things that was going on uh, the middle to end of August and I just never got around to doing this video so I'm doing it now even though it is in September please be looking out for when my September box come in I'll try to get that video out to you guys as quick as I can so without further ado let's jump into the August monster bass box uh, so here in Arkansas it's still warm out here I think even though we have officially uh, began our fall season but our weather is still very much summer uh, I think the other day our highest got to 85 degrees which has come down from the triple digits that we've been in so you still want to play it uh, by ear uh, check your graphs and stuff for your water temperature because that's gonna help determine uh, a lot of things when you're on the water uh, your water clarity will also play a part as far as the colors of the base that you're going to pick but the water temperature will help play a part as far as the depth that you're going to be fishing whether or not the fish have moved up shallow to start feeding up for that fall period and stuff uh, also the oxygen in the water you know the hotter it is then you know a lot of your shallow areas you have very little oxygen so the fish move out deep to one where the water is a lot cooler but then also uh, there's more oxygen and stuff like that um, that's also going to play a part in your speed of your presentation are they looking for something fast or are they looking for something slow you know I like to tell people that fish are very much like human beings you know how you got those people that when the weather is cold they they hunker down they don't get outside and they don't like to do a whole lot of stuff because they don't like being cold uh, also uh, when it's very hot outside you have those that again they hunker down inside where they can control the temperature and stay comfortable they're not going to go outside and do a whole lot of stuff outside in the heat because they just don't like that fish are kind of the same way especially bass they like shaded areas one because the water temp is a little bit cooler but also they use those as ambush points for bait fish and other things that are passing by them they can use that as an ambush point to get an easy meal so kind of remember that when you're fishing in a spot and make sure you, you're checking your water temperatures and things like that so that way you're picking the most uh, effective and more efficient spot to fish and you're not wasting your spot on you're wasting your time on a spot that is not going to really produce you anything so just keep that in mind guys so like always you have your monster bass guidebook uh, that has all kinds of cool information about what's in your box as well as what else you can look for uh, when you sign up for monster bass I am gonna say that I have been extremely pleased with monster bass just because of all the helpful information and tips that you can get because you're not just signing up for this subscription where every month you get a box full of baits you're getting a lot of pro tips information that pro bass fishermen go out here every day every year using these tournaments to make a ton of money you're getting that information all for you know 35 bucks you, you can't beat that you know some people uh, you call them for advice on certain things and they might charge you more than that just for a little bit of information you're getting awesome baits from a wide variety of companies some big name brand companies some small local companies but they make 
phenomenal baits. You're getting that information along with these baits, all for $35 a month. So you really can't beat that, guys. Uh, again, go through here. See, look at this. I'm, I'm just now really getting into this. One of my favorite guys to watch, uh, Andy Montgomery. Uh, for one, he's a Strike King pro. I love Strike King baits. But Andy's videos, you know, a lot of... He, he brings a lot of comedy to his videos. He's always having fun, but always a lot of good information. And, again, you can never go wrong with Monster Bass because you're getting information straight from the pros. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. We got soft plastic jerk baits. So, I'm going to see if I can find those in here. Let's see. Okay, and right here we have the original Castaic Jerky J swim baits. Uh, this color is what they call Mardi Gras. These are five inch swim baits. Uh, trying to so they're straight tail. So I mean you can use these on a variety of things. Uh, trailers. You can use them as a standalone jerk bait, which is what they're talking about here. Uh, for this, it suggests that you uh, your water depth is subsurface, so you're just right there, just underneath the surface, and your structures and covers that you want to throw these around: uh, grass, humps, tules, or reeds, brush piles, out in open water, around riprap, uh, around points, around docks around rocks and around trees the suggested gear for this is a seven foot uh, I'm gonna say a seven foot medium heavy bait casting rod uh, they're suggesting the seven foot monster bass lunker stick 12 pound fluorocarbon and a 7.2 to 1 gear ratio reel uh, that again for me is what I call that high medium speed reel uh, it will allow you to take up that slack pretty fast especially if you see a blow up it's gonna allow you to get that bait in and make another cast over in that area pretty fast but at the same time you're, you're not overworking the bait uh, with a with a jerk bait whether it's one of the hard baits or soft plastic you want to remember to move the bait with the rod and not the reel the reel is just to take up the slack you're moving the bait with the rod so always remember that and you always want to make a downward uh, twitching motion uh, when you're working that bait to give it that erratic movement to go side to side um, I would probably rig this up with a some type of a jig head or uh, maybe even, I wouldn't go with a belly weighted, but maybe one of the uh, non weighted swim bait hooks that would probably work with this. And then uh, maybe, maybe a five aught hook. But most likely, I would probably throw this with a uh, uh, a jig head. You could also do your own version of a line through on this. Um, I might try that one time. I might do my own version of a line through setup with this jerk bait right here. So that's the first one. Oh, let's see here. The second one we got ribbed soft plastic, and in my box I have. This uh, right here is the Thunderhawk Grenade. It's a 2.75 inch. Uh, the color is called Dove's Gobi. So you got a green pumpkin with look like some red flake in it. But it looks like it also has a little bit of a, a different color on the, uh, the core of the bait. Uh, the water depth for this lure, it varies. It's a variable depth thing. So this is a very, very versatile uh, lure to use. Uh, Thunderhawk. I'm going to just go and throw that in there. Thunderhawk is a, a company right here in Searcy, Arkansas. Uh, so, again, small company. But they have been in a ton of these monster bass boxes. So they're they're making their making their way into the fishing industry. And they're, they're trying to make their mark. So, guys, if you would, go to Thunderhawk Fishing. Uh, follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, thunderhawklures.com, and get you some of these lures right here. Help out uh, 
this small company get bigger. Uh, you can throw this anywhere. It says here, grass, humps, ledges, tules, reeds, brush piles, open water, riprap, points, mats, docks, rocks, and trees. 7.4 Monster Bass Lunker Stick, 17 pound fluorocarbon, 8.3 to 1 gear ratio bait caster. And I'm looking at the back, uh, back of this, and it says you can do the free rig, which I would say kind of not exactly the Tokyo rig, but you have a, uh, a teardrop weight with your with a little bit of a leader and then the hook behind it. Your standard Texas rig, standard Carolina rig. You can use this as a jig trailer or on a drop shot. So a lot of ways to fish this lure right here. Um, and the color looks really good, so hopefully I can get out and try that one. Okay, what do we got now? Punching baits. Punching baits. So what do we got to punch? Right here we have a vicious fishing. I really don't even know what to call this lure. They don't have nothing on here really describing the color. You guys can see that's a black and blue color, so... Uh, or no, that looks more like a blue with green pumpkin. So, some really cool looking colors, but, uh, set this up to do punching, probably put about a two, uh, maybe a two ounce tungsten weight. You probably even put a punch skirt on there, uh, whatever your favorite punching hook or flipping hook. Uh, this one again, water depth is variable. Uh, you want to fish this over grass, tules, reeds, brush piles, and mats. So thick vegetation, again, heavy weight. Make sure you put a bobber stop on there or some kind of a weight stop to keep that weight pegged down towards the bait to punch down through that thick mat. Uh, bounce it up a couple of times. Uh, this one, I think I said fluorocarbon. I'm not sure, guys. I'm going to reread this one. No, I haven't read this. So 7-4 Monster Bass uh, Lunker Stick. Or whatever your favorite flipping setup 65 pound braid 8.3 to 1 gear ratio reel uh, again you're you're going into the heavy stuff you're looking for those big fish that's hunkered up under that cover punch down through that stuff give it a couple of bounces don't spend all day in that one spot reel it in make you another cast and then if you're still not getting nothing move on you don't want to waste your time punching the same spot over and over I would probably say after the second or third punch, if you haven't got a bite, move on. Uh, let's see here. And that is all that they really feature as far as the book go. However, we do have this uh, Monster Bass Blade Burner Spinner Bait. This color is called Sexy Cracks because as you can see on the head of it, it's kind of got that skeletal looking cracked structure going and then it's got the uh the chartreuse a little bit of silver in there so that that uh sexy shad color that a lot of companies have uh looks like you have a, a willow leaf blade along with a colorado so you got tandem blades this is a half ounce so this looks like a really good spinner bait i, I would probably throw this one and then i would probably pair it up with this Z-bait uh, plastic here. It's in a white color. Uh, pearl white is what I'm going to call it. Uh, it says for this you can Texas rig, wacky rig, drop shot, Carolina rig, but you can also put this on as a as a trailer for this spinner bait. And these two would really go good together, especially with that white and then that sexy color there. And then, like I mentioned earlier, uh, with those other swim baits, you get some Reaction Strike Plasma Point Swim Bait Hooks. Uh, these come in a 5 8 ounce with a 10 aught hook. So you do have a weighted swim bait hook. Comes with two of them there with the uh, screw lock on there. So those would be good to use on that. Let me move those over here. We have a frog from Bucket Mouth Brand. It's a nice looking frog there. Uh, and you can't really tell too much squeezing it into plastic. Uh, this one is called Fanta Small Smash. So, nice looking frog there. 
I might put that on my travel ride. And then Thunderhawk again, their hybrid finesse jig that they call the Grunt. Uh, this is called the Kissimmee Gill. Nice looking uh, black and purple. Uh, I would still throw this on your normal setup, depending on where you're throwing it. If you're throwing it around uh, some kind of trees and timber, I would go with fluorocarbon. If you're throwing this around grass and vegetation, then you want to put on some braid. Uh, find you a good uh, dark color uh, trailer, or even if you can come up with a trailer that has a little bit of this purple in it, that would pair up really good with that. And go out there and have you some fun. And then, of course, you have your Monster Bass ticket, where if you tune in to Monster Bass on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, they will call out your number and you get a prize. Your Monster Bass sticker, I like this. For one, cool colors, because me being in law enforcement, black and blue is kind of our color. So I like this. And then it's not doing a whole lot. It's just very subtle, you know. Kind of like you're overlooking a, a lake area or just a wooded area. And then you have this Tackle Direct World Premier Fishing Outfitter. So a little online store, kind of like a Tackle Warehouse. And then it also comes with a QR code there that you can scan to go to that site. As well as Fish Angler. So if you guys have ever used Fish Brain, Fish Angler is kind of the same thing. Uh, so, you know, pick whichever one you want. Um, I might switch to this fish angler, give it a try, see what it's about. But that was all the, the baits that I got in here, guys. A lot of great baits. As always, monster bass don't just ever give out junk bait. Their baits are usually, you know, top of the line, really good stuff. Um, so, yeah. That's all, that's all I got, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying your summer and moving into the fall. Um, I know the schools here in my area, the high school, they have kicked off their Arkansas High School Bassers Tournament. My daughter was involved in that for a couple of years. And then, you know, she wasn't taking it serious enough. So I had to pull her out of it. And she just really hasn't really got back into it. Because I guess tournament fishing is not her thing. So... And there's no, no harm, no shame in that. If tournament fishing is not your thing, you just like to fish for fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't think she was serious enough to do tournament fishing. But uh, those seasons have kicked off. So I'll try to get updates on those from people and share those on here with you guys. And uh, hopefully I will get a chance to uh, get out here and do some fishing of my own. Uh, my tournament circuit that I fish with law enforcement is about to wrap up for our season so hopefully next season i'll have more time to get out there and fish more tournaments and stuff and, and get those on video for you guys uh let me know if you like the video smash that thumbs up button uh drop me some comments down below if you guys haven't seen the video last time i talked about doing another giveaway so please send me messages to let me know that you're joining the channel so that way when we get to that uh number of subscribers that i talked about in the last video we can do one of those giveaways. I believe one of them was a a six gill cyclone reel with the uh, the new ceramic bearings, and then I think another one was if I reached a certain number of subscribers, somebody is going to get a one of the Monster Bass boxes. I don't know what's going to be in it, but uh, just shoot me your name, let you know that you're entering for the giveaway, so I can get you added to the uh, uh, added to the list. And what I did the last time, I have that app, the uh, the wheel, spinning wheel. I'll get your name put on there, and then whenever we reach that number, I'll spin that wheel. I'll do. I try to do it live again. I'll spin the wheel and announce the winner, and then I'll reach out to you to let you know that you won, so I can get your information to get that stuff sent out to you. But uh, again, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell. Click on all, so that way you get notified when I do my videos. Uh, make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you like the video and uh, drop me some comments. And until the next time, guys, hope you guys are being safe out there. And I'll see you in the great outdoors.